Hey WinTech Warriors! Today we're going to demonstrate how to fill an option list with strings from a PLC. First, let's take a look at the strings that will be used to fill our option list. I've whipped up some string variables in a Codasys project, and I'm going to generate and import a tag file so I can map these strings to registers within an Easy Builder Pro project. Now, let's take a peek at the option list object in our project. The monitor address is the address of the option list itself. This address also represents the numeric value that corresponds with the item selected in the list. In the Source Data tab, choose Item Address from the Source of Item Data drop-down list. This will allow us to get the string data from our tags into the option list. The control address allows us to update option list items by entering a value of 1, which we'll do with a combo button later. The control address plus 1 will be used to configure the number of items within our option list. Within the Items section is where we configure the addresses of the items within the list. The length of each item determines both the word count of the item and the address of the next item in the list. For example, the first item in the option list will have the address of RW2. Because the length of each item is 5, the next item in the option list will have an address of RW7. The next item will have an address of RW12, followed by RW17 and RW22. RW registers are saved in HMI flash memory one minute after the HMI boots up, and then consecutively every minute after. The data within RW registers will be retained in the event of a power cycle. Let's take a closer look at our Easy Builder Pro project. Above the option list, we have the monitor address that we configured earlier. To the left, we have the control address plus one, labeled item count. Below the item count, we have five registers mapped to the codices tags we imported earlier. These are the strings that will fill the option list. To map an imported tag to a register, select your PLC from the device dropdown list and select the tag from the tag dropdown list. Below the strings, we have a combo button. This combo button writes a constant value of 1 into the option list's control address. This action will update the option list. The other action executes a macro. The macro gets data from the registers addressed to the PLC, in this case, our Codices project, and sets the string data into the registers addressed to the option list. Selecting the Execute One Time When HMI First Starts option will update the contents of the option list upon HMI Reboot. Let's take a look at our project in action. First, I'll set the item count to 5. Next, I'm going to push the combo button. As you can see, the string data pulled from our Codices project has filled our option list. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, head on over to our channel for more great technical tutorials. And come on down to our forum. It's a great resource for everything WinTech.